Trump rejected Zelensky's proposal. He has no intention of going to Ukraine. Republican presidential frontrunner Donald Trump does not think it would be a good idea for him to travel to Ukraine while he does not hold public office, Reuters reported citing his campaign. Earlier, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky told outlets of the German-based Axel Springer Media Group that he had privately invited Trump through intermediaries to visit his country. The former US leader, who is likely headed for a rematch with incumbent Joe Biden in November's election, has previously claimed that he would resolve the Ukraine conflict within 24 hours if he were president. While Trump offered few clues as to how he might accomplish this task, the Washington Post reported that it would involve Kiev recognizing Russian sovereignty over some of the territories currently claimed by Ukraine. The ex-president's aides, however, have dismissed the report as speculation by uninformed sources. Zelensky has been skeptical about Trump's ideas for making peace with Moscow, saying that if the deal is that we just give up our territories, then it's a very primitive idea. In a statement to Reuters, Trump's team insisted that there had been no formal outreach from Zelensky to the 45th president. President Trump has said publicly it wouldn't be appropriate for him to go to Ukraine right now since he's not commander-in-chief, the statement added. Trump has repeatedly criticized the Biden administration's approach to the Ukraine conflict, saying Washington is sending too many weapons to Kiev. He has also floated a proposal to provide Ukraine with loans instead of non-repayable aid. While Ukrainian officials said they were ready to explore the idea, Politico reported that Kiev was offended by this plan. Meanwhile, commenting on Trump's remarks about peace in Ukraine, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said Moscow has had no contacts with Trump on the issue, adding that the ex-president's plan had too few details publicly available. U.S. General Russia's army is now 15% bigger than when it invaded Ukraine. Russia's armed forces have grown larger and not dwindled during its war in Ukraine, a top U.S. general said, according to Business Insider. The army is actually now larger by 15% than it was when it invaded Ukraine. U.S. Army General Christopher Cavalli, NATO Supreme Allied Commander Europe, told the House Armed Services Committee in a hearing. Over the past year, Russia increased its frontline troop strength from 360,000 to 470,000, Cavalli continued, adding that the bolstered numbers stemmed from Russia raising its conscription age from 27 to 30. The increase, Cavalli said, meant that Russia was able to enlarge the pool of available military conscripts by 2 million for years to come. In sum, Russia is on track to command the largest military on the continent, Cavalli said in his opening statement to Congress. Regardless of the outcome of the war in Ukraine, Russia will be larger, more lethal and angrier with the West than when it invaded, he added. Cavalli isn't the first U.S. official to have highlighted the threat posed by a resurgent Russia. Last week, Deputy Secretary of State Kurt Campbell said that Russia has almost completely restored its military after sustaining heavy losses in Ukraine. Its newfound capabilities pose a long-term challenge to stability in Europe and threatened NATO allies, Campbell told attendees at a dialogue hosted by the Center for a New American Security, a Washington-based think tank, on April the 3rd. Cavalli and Campbell's warnings of an invigorated Russian army come amid warning U.S. support for the Ukraine war. The GOP has repeatedly blocked attempts by the Biden administration to send aid to Ukraine. If we do not continue to support Ukraine, Ukraine will run out of artillery shells and will run out of air defense interceptors in fairly short order, Cavalli said. Наша буханочка. Ой, я за куда? Пойму.